Hello. Um, did you subscribe to what's on here, please? I'm being directed. Now I'm going to talk about uh, growing up with love. Uh, we grew up, I grew up in the uh, 50s and 60s, and uh, we when we had, this is funny, but I'm going to say this, this is funny. In the neighborhood I grew up with, and TVs was just coming out in the 50s, uh, 51, 52, anyway, around there. We had this one neighbor that had a had a television and it seemed like the whole neighborhood would go in the house to watch uh, the black and white TV, you know? So, you know, that's the Lone Ranger was popular and it wasn't much on TV, but the honeymoons with Jackie Gleason, uh, it was just certain shows and we would all get together. And uh, my grandmother was a quiet, a quiet woman, you know, she didn't say much. And she would walk with this cane. And if she wants you and you went by her, she will hook you around your neck or leg and pull you to her. That's how she got your attention. Instead of saying your name and stop. And you know, her thing, she said, I can't remember all them names. You know, she just hook your ass. And uh, so uh, we, we, we had this thing, my grandmother didn't like you sitting on her trash cans, uh, you know, mess bending the tops. So me and my brother, we would be out in the alley, I mean, out in the back. And we had these certain boys would come around, we playing, you joking. He say, well, I ain't got nowhere to sit. We say, yeah, well, you can sit on that trash can. And my grandmother, I don't know how they did it, but they, they used to hear everything. You think you whispering, but they, they hear everything. That's another story. I used to think my mother had eyes in the back of her head because she would tell me, boy, I see what you're doing in the back. And I was saying, how you see? She said, I got eyes in the back of my head. I used to believe that stuff. But anyway, we had this guy, never forget it. She said, yeah, go ahead and sit on that trash can. We knew it was a matter of time. My grandmother might have been on the first floor, but she walked up to the second floor, open that window, and throw water out on whoever was on that trash can. And that's what she did to that boy. And man, we never laughed so hard in our life, boy. And that grandma would say, don't sit on my trash can top. You know, so, <laughs> that, so that was that time. Also, uh, with my brothers, I had three older brothers. Uh, the two older brothers, uh, I don't know, I guess I was five. I remember being five or six. And they was teaching me how to catch a ball, swing a bat. Baseball was a big thing back in the 50s, you know, you know, baseball, baseball, baseball. And a lot of wasn't, you know, wasn't raised like it is now. Sports all on TV. And uh, uh, my, my brother would, my brother would talk to me and say, look, if you get in a fight, don't never let a man know you're afraid of him. I don't care if he beat you up every day. So I'm like six or seven. You know, I said, oh, who's going to beat me up every day? But I don't know what happened. When I turned eight, it was this guy, I never forget his, we had nicknames named Ryan Ball. Don't tell me what's a Ryan Ball, because I don't know. But his nickname was Ryan. To this day, 60, 70 years later, still, I still remember that name. Why? Because the guy tried to, he fought me, he wanted to fight me, it seemed like every day. And I would lose every day. And my brother would say, what you learn? I said, I ain't learned nothing. <laughs> So, so this one, I don't know, man. It was this one time I got on top of Ryan Ball and I started wearing away at his face, man. And I never had to fight him again. So that, what my brother taught me was, you never give up and you never be afraid of nobody. Even if you are afraid, don't let them know that you was afraid. So uh, that, 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 <laughs> that led to many adventures in elementary and junior high school because I end up I was a little skinny small boy but I wouldn't turn down a fight man if, if you touch me you come any any reason for me to fight you I will fight you know I listen to them words my brother said don't let a man know you're afraid of or boy or whatever and that's one of the great adventures of having three older brothers and then teach you nothing about learning, writing, or arithmetic, but I'm gonna teach you how to fight. It's like my brother used to teach me how to steal, how to steal off soda truck. 
He said, you never steal off the soda truck until it hit the stop sign. Back in them days, soda trucks didn't have no sidewalls. The trucks were just all open, soda setting in the cases. You could run up, hit the soda, grab two with your hand, you're gone. And uh, that's the crazy upbringing I had. So it's, uh, it was very different. All right. We will continue on in life. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe, call, dictate, email, or text. Thank you.